Breaking Peru Stampede After Disco Lockdown Kills Tens of People In the interest of preserving human life, the Peruvian authorities charged into a parked, packed disco and triggered off a chain of events that resulted in a fatal stampede that, as of this moment, has claimed at least 13 lives. 13 die in Peru disco stampede after police stock Lockdown Raid. This is from the AP Wire through WFMZ.com Written by Franklin Bresendo August 23rd, Lima, Peru. 13 people died in a stampede at a disco in Peru after a police raid to enforce the country's lockdown during the coronavirus pandemic. Officials said Saturday the stampede happened at the Thomas Disco in Lima, where about 120 people had gathered for a party on Saturday night, the Interior Ministry said. People tried to escape through the only door of the second floor disco, trampling one another and becoming trapped in the confined space, according to authorities. Such a, such a, such a metaphorical there. In the totality of the whole, we're, we're pushing ahead to look here at Peru Stampede Disco Lockdown. As Google is reporting, and as of the moment I'm recording this, this is one of them stories that I'm recording to actually go out the same day. This is not a very evergreen type of story that I generally usually make on this channel, but I think this is bare noting for future reference. I wanted to index this and certainly as they say thoughts and prayers and all that out to all of the folks that have suffered as a result of this so these headlines are from associated press 13 die in peru disco stampede after poli police lockdown red red great ready from billboard 13 dead in peru disco stampede after police lockdown raid. from time magazine 13 die in peru disco stampede after police raid to enforce coronavirus lockdown. Well, there you go. That was that was not 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 bad. My title: Peru Stampede after disco lockdown kills tens of people. I don't know, man. Think of my creativity, at least. Y'all gotta. Never mind. Not appropriate. I know. Actually, really, these guys. Uh, I mean, this is what happens. I mean, there's there, the, as you can see from this, this is this is what happens when when you get to Peru lockdown extended. That was done last week, and and we're gonna go to to an article here. Gonna get to this is from the Jakarta Post. Peru president bans family gatherings, extends lockdowns as coronavirus infection spike. This is from Marco Aquino and Reuters. And this is, oh, I didn't get the date to this. So let's see. Okay, A A August 13th. August 13th. Peruvian president Martin Vicaro on Wednesday banned family gatherings and extended lockdowns to five more regions of the country amid a fresh spike in cases of the novel coronavirus. I'm not going to read all of the stuff that I had noted there. I think that's uh, sufficient for me to note here. As you can see, we have another... What a surprise. We have another situation in which we have the oh the good intentions of centrally controlling and managing a response to especially when we're now talking about an ongoing threat so something that people are going to have to deal with for prolonged periods of time the the net gain and cost in terms of how many lives are you saving and how many lives are you are you costing in, 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 in. so I just want to go to 
let me see if I can get to it here. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to go down that path. Never mind. I was going to go down and, and look at some coronavirus numbers, but I, I don't want to. The coronavirus, how much of a threat is it to warrant this um, continued invasion upon uh, the daily needs of, of human living? I mean, not no, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about necessarily you guys need to go to a disco here, but uh, certainly... Maybe, maybe, maybe in the end you do. Maybe in the end it's like, you know, listen, come with me, man. You're not really ultimately going to keep any of us really from getting exposed to this thing eventually. You're really not. And and that's the bottom line. If we really felt like somehow you were going to keep us all magic, it's, it's not possible. We're all going to get exposed, almost every single one of us. If we haven't, if many of us haven't already, who knows? And you have this... Dare I say the, the, the proverbial law of unintended consequences, you think that you're saving one part over here, but you end up costing the lives of so many more others over there. And and who knows what, what we're talking about? Who knows? And I, I've, I've said this in past shows that I've, I've done on this channel, on the Action Bots YouTube channel there. I've, I've said this, that uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Well, who knows what's fact from fiction as far as the coronavirus, what impact it had, who di who lived, who died, and in there there are just in certain like in in the United States there are some states that are producing numbers that are showing eighty well between maybe sixty five to eighty five percent of their of their pe well. Yeah, the, of the people that have died in their states, and it tends to be in the more rural states, it's, it's closer to the 85%. A state like Pennsylvania, for instance, I think it's like somewhere around 60, 65%. 65%, so that's a good state to use. Let's, let's just use that number. 65% of the people who die from the coronaviruses are in nursing homes. Right from the start, 65%. All of them in well, well, you know, ninety nine, whatever, what significant percentage of them that are in, I guess you could say, maybe to 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 to, to say it grimly, on the way out, and 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 for that, what we are seeing is, you are you are beginning to interfere with people's lives, the trajectories, the fundamental things that make them who and what they are. And if you're doing so over something that could realistically kill like many people, like that's one thing, but this isn't that thing. This thing is something that warrants some degree of safety measures being taken. But to this degree, even letting these people do their, I know, I don't know. I think you know, let, let them do the freaking discos. Uh, so uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not against some, some, measures being made the mask wearing some things you know whatever but uh this is this is just you just can't continue to go on like this without people saying listen man we'd rather just face it see that's what that's what you don't that's what many people just don't understand many many more people it starts off at it essentially the people that are used to living high levels of living for well well good good quality of living for for wider stretches of their life, you know, they have to work the least hard and they have the greatest amount of leash or whatever. Those are the folks that most likely, of course, they're going to protest first, but it starts to trickle down because everybody, everybody has periods of, uh, of, of leisure and, oh gosh, thank God, I don't have to think about anything stressful at all. And you taking all that away and, you know, people just would rather just not live. And that's what you don't understand. And they would certainly rather just even if they they're, they're but way before they get to that rather they should not live state they certainly rather not be sitting in in fear of of this virus they'd rather i more and more people will simply just want to face it and when you have stories like this well this is this is tailor-made for that narrative isn't it i mean here it is it's uh 
it's a it's a horrible 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 way to have a narrative and god bless these people and have mercy on their souls and all that all that goodwill stuff and i mean it i really do mean it but uh it's uh it's just a a very i mean it it is what it is because it is a powerful a powerful narrative that is born in 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 really visceral visceral truth such as such as we humans can understand truth visceral truth the the law of unintended consequences especially the more you hammer the more unintended things get broken you just we don't even know and it'll be years before we know fully and god knows if we'll ever know because all of those studies most of what you may very well see unless 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 i have my way and unless many of you possibly listening have your way these will be studies commissioned by companies and governments that well i should say uh the these quote quote unquote corporate states and uh governments and i'm now calling them parastates i'm calling corporate states i'm calling i'm just calling them parastates so parastates and states that these are the ones that are going to fund these studies so they'll show but because they do have competition amongst them, you will see a measure of truth in all of them because all of the factions declare truth that uh, has to, well, it has to lie because there's no such thing. Well, truth and certainty uh, because because it has to lie because no 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 faction, no one individual, nothing has any, any special uh, access to this so-called truth or or uh, anything even remotely approaching that. So I think I will end this here, and that's about all I'll say. That's about all I want to say for this, but uh, my heart does go out to all the families affected by this, and uh, I'll say, you know, thanks for watching the show, Breaking Peru Stampede After stampede after Disco Lockdown Kills Tens of People. This, this, this video is... Uh, I mean, it is, certainly it is about this and, and this tragedy, but it's also about just, a, it's, it's a reminder of this thing. If you're watching this a month from now, it's still relevant a month from now. Just a little, little bit of reminder of a law of, the un, of an unintended consequences, especially when you're talking about using hammers to try to strike down vast numbers of humans, and especially, especially when you dare say, in the interest of their own safety.